This past Sunday, I spent over $200 on two copies of F.A. Whip Crosser. Yes, that is true. In fact, this title is not clickbait, and I wish it was, but no. Today, we are going to talk about my financial stupidity and also my impatience and how it led me to go down this rabbit hole of buying F.A. Whip Crossers for way more than they're worth because these cards are commons. They're only worth a couple pennies, but there were a series of unfortunate events, much like the book series, that uh, led me to spend way more on them just because I wanted them immediately. So that's the first thing that I want you guys to realize. I'm a very impatient person. Part of the reason that I bought the computer that I did was because it was simply the best thing that the store had available and I didn't want to wait online. There were a couple other options online that were very good computers, but I want something immediately when I pay for it. I hate waiting for cards to ship, and one of the things that I hate about waiting for cards to ship is that sometimes the people don't send them out and then you gotta get a refund and then you gotta ship them again, so it takes like two weeks to get the cards, and I just don't wanna do that. Another example of this almost happening was when I wanted to make a Magnet Warrior deck profile. Now all of those cards, very similar to FA cards, are only a couple cents. However, I really wanted to make the deck profile right away, so I considered buying three Yugi Structure decks to play the deck right away. And uh, against my initial judgment, I did end up just ordering the cards online. It wasn't that bad. And really, if you can learn anything from this story, Waiting for cards isn't that bad, and it certainly isn't worth $200 for two commons, unless you do have the disposable income to do that, and you can make a great meme video out of it like I can, but I still wouldn't recommend it. And even looking back on it now a couple days afterwards, I don't think it was the best choice, but I was so caught up in the moment. And anyway, let's talk about that. So I was excited for the FA cards. I think you guys pretty much all know that. It was like the only reason I really even wanted to get the Extreme Force set, and it's definitely the only reason that I went to the FA or I went to the Extreme Force sneak peek was just to get the FA cards. I don't really care about a, too many other cards in the set, not even like Heavy Metal Fuzz Electromite, anything like that. I mean, I wanted a couple of the secret rares, but overall, I just wanted to play FAs. One of the things that was keeping me back, though, was that I didn't really have the entire deck constructed from the old cards even heading into that Sunday, and I was fairly confident I would have no trouble picking up the new cards, which, by the way, I didn't have any trouble picking them up, but as far as the old cards go, it was kind of tough to find them, and I actually bought five sneak peek kits of Code of the Duelist way back and earlier, or I guess at the end of 2017, but the start of the regional season, and I only pulled one FA Hang On Mock, and that card's pretty important. It's, it's really the only FA card from that set that you need, but in Circuit Break, you need both FA Whip Crosser and FA Pit Stop. In Circuit Break, I really didn't buy a lot of sets of and uh, I only had one pit stop and zero whip crossers heading into Sunday, and I was also missing several copies of Off-Road Grand Prix, which wasn't that hard to pull, but once again, I just didn't buy a lot of circuit break prior to uh, Sunday, so I actually ended up only having that like one field spell and the, the one pit stop. But luckily, my friend was able to sort of look through all of his commons, and he came up with a lot of cards that I didn't have. I suddenly only had to find two whip crossers and one FA hang on Mac heading into Sunday besides all of the new cards. But once again, I wasn't worried about getting the new cards. I figured out a sneak peek. Lots of people will be playing commons. And I didn't think the cards would be that hard to find. And at this point, I didn't think that any of the FA cards were short printed, mostly because no one had mentioned they were. Um, retrospectively though, I now believe after opening a lot of different packs that both FA hang on Mac and FA whip crosser are in fact short printed. And that is part of the reason that I spent so much money to get the FA Whip Crossers. So let's flash forward to Sunday. I managed to get all the cards my friend gave me. I managed to get all of the new cards with no issue. And now I want the rest of the deck. And I don't want it in like a week. I want it immediately. And at the very least, I have some sort of slight excuse because I do have a regional this weekend. And if I ordered the cards, they likely would not come in. Now there can be an argument being made that I could simply buy them at the event, but that's something that not every single vendor will bring to the event because they're only common cards. And by this point, just by, by the way, I had asked every single friend that played Yu-Gi-Oh that I knew if they had these cards and simply no one did. They were basically ghosts of the Yu-Gi-Oh community in my city. So I basically was left to buying packs to open these cards. 
so the first thing that I did is I bought five packs of Circuit Break and two packs of Code of the Duelist. Now in those seven packs, I did not pull FA Whip Crosser or FA Hang On Mock, but as I was opening those packs, there was someone else in the tournament that managed to find the one last FA uh, Hang On Mock that I needed. So now I only needed those two FA Whip Crossers. And here is where things got bad because it's one thing to be missing a couple cards from your deck that you need, but it's another thing to be missing just two cards. Like I, I had the whole deck put together except for the two copies of FA Whip Crosser. I had all the expensive cards like Ash Blossoms, but I didn't have FA Whip Crosser. And I was left with a decision. I could either buy the cards online and wait for them. I could buy them at the event, like I said earlier, but I wasn't really sure that the cards would even be at the event. Or I could just keep buying packs until I opened the FA Whip Crosser. And please remember, at this point, I just think this is a normal common. Because I only bought the five packs of Circuit Break. And obviously, no one at the event is going to just be carrying around these cards. Although, I did, in fact, ask everyone. But I don't know how hard this card is to pull. And I'm thinking, okay, in the seven packs that I opened, I did pull multiple FA cards. Just not Whip Crosser. So how hard can it be? So what I did for the next 30 minutes, and this is, I feel so bad for the locals because I kept having to make, I kept having to make purchases, but basically they had an open box of Circuit Break, and I individually bought three packs at a time, and I had to each time they swiped my debit card, I had to fill out the little paper that they give you, the receipt, you have to sign it, and then I would open three packs. Wouldn't pull an FA Whip Crosser, and then I'd ask him for another three packs. Now, there wasn't a full box open. It was only about half the box. I think it was somewhere from 12 to 15 packs. And I'm not kidding you. I sat there for that 30 minutes and just kept opening those packs in groups of three. And I didn't pull a single FA Whip Crosser. Like, I was, I at that point, I like checked my phone about halfway through just to double check that Whip Crosser even came from that set because I was like, Okay, maybe I'm just getting this wrong. Even though in my head I'm just like, nope, Whip Crosser was not released in the first set of FA, so it must be released in the second set. I just like couldn't believe it. At, by that point, I had pulled like 100 copies of FA Pit Stop and FA Off Road Grand Prix and the level 6 FA, who I don't even know its name because it's so bad, but I hadn't pulled a single FA Whip Crosser. And that's when I just kind of went crazy. Um, by this point, I had already sunk so much money into this, almost $100, that I basically was stuck. Um, if I didn't pull an FA Whip Crosser, everything would be sort of worthless. Uh, I would have still had to buy them online or buy them at the event. So my only solution, and I'm not saying this was the best solution, but it was the only one that I saw at the time, was to simply, and this is what I should have done by the start, I simply bought an entire box of Circuit Break Sealed because I was like, okay... I have to pull two whip crossers in this whole box. 24 packs, hundreds of common cards. I, I have to pull this card. It would be it would be such an anomaly if you opened that many cards and didn't pull a single copy or two copies of FA Whip Crosser. And I sat there and I opened that box. And now at this point we're almost we're over two hundred dollars invested into this between not only the, the individual packs of circuit break that I bought, but also the sneak peek. I actually um, my friend and I both went there so I paid for him. That was forty dollars. Um, so now I'm just in way over my head. I buy this box and I'm not kidding you. Out of all the packs in the box, all 24 packs in the box, do you want to know how many whip crossers I pulled? Three. I pulled three whip crossers in 24 packs. I now own way more circuit break commons and rares than I need or ever will need. I own like, like I said earlier, I own even more copies of FA Pit Stop, the level six monster and off-road Grand Prix, but I only pulled a play set of FA whip crosser in that entire box. And I understand that card might not actually be short, short printed because one of the things with commons and Yu-Gi-Oh sets is you're not technically guaranteed a set number of them in like any given box you don't like technically you could just pull none of a common card um that's not really supposed to happen outside of even with short prints you're supposed to pull a couple of them but i don't know if fa whip crosser hates me i don't know if it actually is a short print but i i kid you not after all those packs that i bought almost well almost two full boxes uh, besides all of these other cards, I only pulled three of them, and 
it's not that it felt terrible when I finally opened them. I felt like a weight had been lifting off my chest. Like I wasn't going crazy. Like seeing that first FA whip crosser out of that one of the packs that I opened and that sort of um, confirmed that the card actually existed and it actually existed in circuit break. That was a pretty big moment because I had put so much money into it and I really thought I was going crazy. This card didn't exist. I had no chance of pulling it. And then suddenly it appeared and then the second one appeared and then at the very end of the box the third one appeared but uh anyway what's the moral of the story the moral of the story is don't spend two hundred dollars on common cards unless you have the disposable income and really if we're being honest here even if you have the disposable income to spend that much money on commons just just don't um, learn from my mistakes here just buy fa whip crossers buy the entire fa deck for less than a dollar for a place out of every single card that's a lot better of an investment on your part um, at least I have the deck now. That's cool. I get to do test hands with it. That's pretty much what I've spent the last couple days doing. But definitely I should have just gotten proxies and ordered them online or literally any other solution. But that is my story. And no, like I said at the beginning, the title was not clickbait. I uh, did waste $200 for commons. And more importantly, and this is the craziest part, by the end of that, because I had all these extra cards, I had to buy like a deck box to hold them in. And when I purchased that deck box, my bank actually called me and asked if someone had stolen my card because so many small purchases had been made um, within like an hour time period because all of those those three packs that I bought in like over and over and over again those were all like five minutes apart so I saw they thought someone had stolen my card so I actually had to call my bank and confirm that there was no fraudulent activity going on I'm just stupid and play a card game but anyway that's gonna wrap up my video to all my haters out there hopefully this will confirm that I'm stupid to all my fans out there hopefully you'll learn a solid lesson from someone you look up to don't do what I do. Just just wait and buy the commons for two cents. That's definitely the best way to go. Um, but I have the deck now, so I guess I win in some capacity. Probably not. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. Bye.